Well, hi, I'm John Hart. Welcome back to Mr. America Hart. Today I'm sharing with you two, not one, but two great routines that you can use if your interest is growing that muscle on your body. Maybe you have an interest in someday competing. Maybe you just have an interest in getting as big as you possibly can. Either way, these two routines I'm going to give to you, one of them is for you, I believe. So here we go straight into it. So listen, let's assume that you are young, you're in good shape. Your health, I mean, is in good shape. There's no reason why uh, you can't recover between workouts, let's say, as far as you know, some people have three jobs they work. Some people have two jobs they work, and they're beating themselves down to the bone uh, week in and week out, not getting enough sleep. And they have a family, and they have young kids. We're not talking about all of that, okay? As long as you are able to get good sleep, good rest between workouts, both of these workouts are going to make you grow. And, you know, of course, you have to be eating good food as well. But here they go. The first workout. This one I spoke about once before in a prior video years ago. It was called the Get Big Routine, the ABA, BAB workout. One of my favorite workouts of all time. And, I, you know, the exercises themselves don't so much matter as the order in which you do these workouts, okay? A, an A routine would be something along the lines of doing, and these are examples off the top of my head now, okay? An A routine would be something such as chest, triceps, and thighs. What does that look like? Bench press, incline bench press, tricep you know, skull crushers, they call them, right? Skull crushers, tricep extensions. No, there's no push downs in there. We're not doing push downs, okay? This is not a standard basic exercise, just so we all can define this clearly. Even though you go to any gym around the country, you see everybody doing tricep push downs. That is not your basic mass builder, okay? Lying down tricep extensions with an easy curl bar, overhead dumbbell extensions with a dumbbell or an easy curl bar. Either one of those, okay, are considered basic mass builders, tricep extensions or skull crushers, and then finish it up with some close grip bench presses. Now you're talking chest and triceps done, and you're going to move on into legs. What are the legs, uh, leg exercises that day? Squats, of course. Squats. You're going to do squats. You're going to do leg presses. You're going to do leg curls. And boom, you're out the door. Okay? <laughs> Now, how many sets, how many reps, all of that you're about to see. I'm going to float it up here next to my head so you can see how many sets, how many reps as far as the repetition range goes. You can use those sets and repetitions, and of course, that's after warm-ups, okay? So you can warm up properly on the first compound exercise of each one of these workouts I'm about to tell you, and then after that, you don't need to warm up. You can jump right on in. So, for example, uh, that bench press you would warm up on that, as many warm-ups warm -ups as it takes, straight into your working set. Then, boom, down below, in the middle of the workout, you get to legs, do a couple warm-ups of squats, and then, boom, right into your squats you go. You don't need to warm up on the leg press after squats. You're ready to go. Load the weight up and go. That's it. Leg curls, finish it off. That workout is done, and you're out the door. That's the A workout. The B workout is back, shoulders, and biceps. Now, that workout is a good one. That workout's going to be something, again, heavy and basic. This is what we're talking about. You want to get big, right? We keep the repetitions all the way between 5 and 12 repetitions on almost everything. Between 5 and 12. Okay, so we're going to go with back. What's, what are we starting off with with back? Chin-ups, of course. You can warm up on a pull-down machine if you want. And then you go right ahead and you do full-blown chin-ups. If doing more than 12 repetitions is possible for you, then you go ahead and you add a dip belt, dip chin belt around your waist, add some weight to that belt. So now the chin-ups that you're doing are more than just your body weight. Chin-ups. What do you do after that? Bent over rows. Hit some good bent over rows after that. Hard. <laughs> and again, 5 to 12 repetitions. That lower back, when you do the bent over rows, you want to keep that nice and flat, okay? So, chins, bent over rows, or deadlifts. So every other B workout, you can change it. When you do two B workouts in one week, of course, 
you can do one workout where you're doing the bent over row, the other one where you're doing the deadlift. But both of them, do the chins. Chins, bent over rows, and then rows or deadlifts, okay? And again, we're now moving into doing shoulders. What do you do for your shoulders? Dumbbell presses, seated dumbbell presses, military presses standing, great. Dumbbell laterals, great. Bent over laterals, great. Love them all. And then finish it off with some good curls. You can do some dumbbell curls or incline curls or barbell curls, your choice. But you don't need a whole lot at that point. If you're doing those heavy chins and those rows, you won't need much bicep work at all at that point. So again, I'm gonna write that one, boom, up on the screen next to me, oh, this side. So I have my A workout, I have my B workout. Now what's the big deal about this? This ABA, BAB workout. Well, you're gonna take the A workout and you're gonna work it on the first week, Mondays and Fridays. You're gonna take the B workout, you're gonna work that one only on Wednesday that week. Now the following week, you're gonna start off with your B workout. You're gonna go B workout on Mondays and Fridays. And you're gonna do the A workout on Wednesday. So you see, one week you do the A workout twice in one week, the B workout one time that week. The following week, you do the B workout twice that week and the A workout once that week. Back in the day, there was an old bodybuilder, old time bodybuilder called Frank Calta was his name. And he used to call it his rotation for recuperation workout. I like it a lot. My favorite, uh, when I was starting out to grow on. So that's why I called it the Get Big Routine. And I did a great video on that way back when. I'll put the links down below so you can see more details on that. The second great workout, you could take your choice. Most people are going to do great with the ABA, BA work, BAB workout. That one handles most of y'all and your recovery ability. However, if you find that you are a super, let's just say, you adapt really, really quickly, whether it's from natural means or supernatural means, meaning you're natural or you are enhanced, either way, and you want more training than those three days, then at max, you can go four days. Four days a week working out. Uh, this workout, I pretty much like uh, for you, there's a little bit more frequency of hitting the body parts, but it's gonna be the same as the A, B, A, B, A, B workout that I just mentioned. However, in the course of one week, you're going to do A, B, take a day off, and then A, B again, and then take two days off. And that is seven days right there. So there's your second workout. You see how you get a little more frequency in there on those workouts? And of course, I keep the volume very low on all of our sets of each exercise. I keep the volume low on the numbers of exercises too, because I, I can tell you this much. Over the years, I've spent a lot of time, I was a trainer at Gold's Gym in Venice, at World Gym in Santa Monica, as well as Venice, after it moved over there, Marina Del Rey. I was a trainer at both gyms, the meccas of bodybuilding, uh, mecca of bodybuilding plus you know, World Gym, which wasn't called a mecca, but I just did. Uh, the reason that I say that is because all of the bodybuilding stars of the day you know, between 1986 all the way until I was there until 2007, all of them trained there. And so I saw all of them, top guys in the world, top girls in the world. And what were some of the things that they were consistent on when they were giving advice to younger trainees or to people that just wanted to get big, okay? We're not talking about drug advice here. We're talking about training advice specifically. If the eating is already there, the training they're talking about, some of the mistakes they saw constantly that people would make, they switch routines too often. You know, showing up at the gym, not knowing how strong you are on each exercise, not knowing how much weight to use on a given exercise for yourself, not having a training log of your workouts, or at least, you know, I mean, these days have it on your phone. So you know what you've done in previous workouts and go ahead and beat it with a simple double progression workout. Try to get stronger, try to use a little bit more weight, try to do more repetitions than you did last workout. If you can do such a thing, you'll grow. So the number one thing that they've all noticed, and I agree with it, is that people change their routines way too often. If you wanna grow and grow that muscle and get big, then you go right ahead and you continue to bang away at those basic exercises. Over time, you're going to grow, okay? 
Stick with your chin-ups. Don't go grabbing that pull-down machine unless you're really tired of doing chin-ups on an occasional workout. Stick with those squats. Don't go with your leg extension machine when you know squats are better for you unless you're just plain tired of doing squats. And yes, experiment with a hack squat machine or a leg extension, that one workout, and still do your leg presses, right? Um, bench pressing. Okay, so if you don't want to do barbell bench pressing like me, I use dumbbells. That's what was the, the favorite for my body. You, in fact, may be the same way. It depends on you as an individual. Choose your exercises accordingly, according to your own frame and what fits your joints. But either one of these workouts, the three-day split per, work, per week or the four-day split per week, either one of those, basic hard work on basic exercises, don't default on jumping to specialized routines or specialized exercises when you haven't put in the time basics for a few years. Put in the foundational work. Get big and strong on those exercises. Eat a little more food over the course of time so you can compensate for your new muscle growth. You have to feed it once you've grown it, okay? Otherwise, it's going to disappear. You have to keep the food going. But if you do all of these things, then growth will occur. It's consistent across the board for most people who have trained and grown bigger muscles, okay? So we go ahead and we go with basic routines. So those are my two suggestions on great basic routines to grow good muscle on your body. And that's it for this time. From my heart to you, John Hart, before you go, please make a comment down below and let us know what your favorite routine is for growing those muscles of yours and what you think of the ones that I just put up for you. And listen, off to my left, you're going to see a disc pop up next to my head. That is the subscribe button for my channel. If you're liking the videos that I'm doing, please, won't you go ahead and give that thing a tap? I really do appreciate that. And then down below, off to your left, you're going to see a thumbs up button down there. That thumbs up button lets the YouTube algorithm know how much you're liking my videos. And it just promotes us within the YouTube community so much. And I do appreciate that. I will see you next time.